English slang words about food and drink from EspressoEnglish.net. Are you ready to learn some slang about food and drink? You'll learn the slang words and listen to the pronunciation. You can also try saying the words and sentences out loud for some pronunciation practice. At the end of the video, there's a quiz where you can review the slang words you learned in today's lesson. Let's get started. Number one, grub. Grub is a slang word for food. It's often used in the phrase, let's get some grub. For example, I'm hungry, let's get some grub. Two other slang words for food are nosh and chow. They're also used in this phrase, let's get some, let's get some nosh, or let's get some chow. Number two, booze. Booze is a slang word for alcohol. For example, we found him asleep next to an empty bottle of booze. Number three, cup of joe. Cup of joe is a slang word for coffee. For example, if I don't have my morning cup of joe, I can't stay awake for my 7 a.m. class. Number four, grinder. A grinder is a long sandwich filled with vegetables, meat, or cheese. For example, have you tried the new meatball grinder? It's really good. Other names for a long sandwich like this include hero, sub, and hoagie. The names vary depending on the region of the United States. Number five, lay off a food. To lay off something means to stop eating so much of a particular food. For example, I'm gaining weight. I should probably lay off the fast food. Number six, pig out. To pig out is to eat a lot of food. For example, we pigged out at the all-you-can-eat buffet. Number seven, doggy bag. A doggy bag refers to food you take home from the restaurant if you didn't finish it. For example, that restaurant served so much food that I couldn't eat it all, so I took the rest home in a doggy bag. Number eight, plastered. If you are plastered, it means you are very drunk with alcohol. For example, he's completely plastered. He can't even stand up. Other words that mean very drunk include wasted, juiced, sauced, sloshed, hammered, trashed, and shit-faced. Shit-faced is a little bit offensive, but all of these words are slang ways to say very drunk. Number nine, brunch. The word brunch is a combination of the words breakfast and lunch. Brunch is a meal eaten in the late morning, which replaces breakfast and lunch. For example, we're having brunch at 1030 on Sunday morning. Number 10, sweet tooth. A person who has a sweet tooth is someone who loves candy, cookies, cake, chocolate, and other sweet foods. For example, my son has such a sweet tooth, he'd eat candy for breakfast if I let him. Number 11, veggie. Veggie is short for vegetable. It can also mean vegetarian food. For example, I'm making some veggie burgers. Veggie burgers look like hamburgers, but instead of being made of meat, they're made of vegetables. Number 12, yummy and yucky. Yummy means delicious, and yucky means disgusting. These two words are mostly used by children, or when talking with children. For example, macaroni and cheese is really yummy. I don't like broccoli. It's yucky. Number 13, wolf down. If you wolf down food, it means you eat very fast. For example, he wolfed down four pieces of pizza and asked for more. Number 14, snack on. To snack on something means to eat lightly. For example, if you want to lose weight, try snacking on dried fruit instead of potato chips. Number 15, have a bite. If you want to taste some of your friend's food, 
You could say, can I have a bite of your steak, spaghetti, salad, etc.? It's a polite way to ask for a sample of your friend's dish. And number 16, grab a bite to eat. This is an informal way to say, get something to eat. For example, let's grab a bite to eat on the way to work. Okay, now try the quiz to test your knowledge of these slang words about food and drink. Click the link in the video to go straight to the quiz. And if you want to learn more, get my ebook about slang and informal English. It's an easy and convenient way to learn the slang words that native English speakers use.